In the early evening hours of Tuesday, an explosion rocked the city. The tragedy left no one in Beirut untouched. An injured man on the street summed it up by saying, this is Lebanon. We're blessed to um, treat a lot of people from the Maronite community. And so we hear uh, the stories of what's happening in, in Lebanon and it, and it is heartbreaking. It wasn't just the Beirut blast and the horrific harm that's caused. The economy in Lebanon has collapsed. One of my cousins is a school teacher. She said, Sonia, you know, we used to get about 3000 American dollars a month. She said, I'm lucky to get 100 or $200 a month now. One patient was telling me the other day that um, it's almost now more valuable having a donkey than it is having a car because there's no petrol and you can't drive a car around. There is no electricity, no medicine, no water. They're having to boil water to have a shower. They just can't see a solution to this problem. I play hope in the, in the clinic because I think it's just a nice way to, to share the gospel quietly and calmly, I guess you could say. It might be just planting a seed in their minds and, and you know, hopefully that, that grows over time. But I, I do recall just laying there and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that music is so good. And then there was reference to God and I'm like, oh wow. And the more I'd listened to it, the more I became intrigued. And then I sort of get into my car and I'm searching, trying to find the radio station and then just saved it in the car. It, it just meant a lot. I don't know how to explain it. We need to be encouraged via the message that, that Jesus um, shares. I get the Hope 103.2, um, the daily verses. Funny enough, it really relates to what's happening. The actual um, Bible verse is just absolutely spot on for what you know I need, but, but also I know that my cousins need. So we have a, um, a WhatsApp family group that, in, that includes all my cousins from around the world. Um, and, and I actually share the uh, verse of the day. Just that, that snippet of, you know, something out of the Bible which, which really speak to the heart. Family members, I'll come back later on and say, you can't imagine just how much that meant to me. I was going through a really difficult time at the time and, and um, I really needed to hear God's word. It just gave me hope. Paying it forward is a real nice way to look at it. If all Christians are able to get involved with the station and play it wherever they might be, it might affect people that we don't realise, so, you know, just like we did with Sonia. So that's, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice way to look at it. God's purpose is for his people to unite. And I think that's where definitely a voice like, like Hope 103.2 that reaches out to so many, it, you know, can have such a powerful impact. It's just available for anybody and everybody. It's a great way to say God's in control and to continue to inspire each other along the way.